Good afternoon, Thika. Can I put you guys on my Snapchat real quick? Yeah? Yes? But you have to scream all the way from here to there. Cool. We start on that side. Don't embarrass me on Snapchat. Let's go. All right, recording. It's not a picture, it's a video. Great. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Thank you. All right, just give me a second to add a caption. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, so let me start. So the coach spoke about committing to your goals. When we were mentoring the youth earlier on at the Media and Journalism Pod, there was a lot of confusion as to what they want to do. My name is Anita Ndero. I'm a TV presenter and I'm a news anchor. Um, on radio, I work for Capital FM. And something that I noticed when we were speaking to the young people, first of all, how many of you want to be in the media and journalism industry? Four guys. Someone is speaking to four people. All right, so I'll have to be very vague about how I put my points across. Now, um, a lot of people tend to say, I want to be on TV, I want to be on radio. But they're not specifically saying what they want to do on TV and what they want to do on radio. You know, you can't just go to Nation Media and say, I want to be on TV. They'll ask you, on TV, doing what? Do you want to be the one who's recording what's happening? Do you want to be the one writing? Do you want to be the producer? Do you want to be the presenter? You have to be specific with your goal. So today, my challenge to you is, you need to come up with a goal first and then you commit to it your dream the reason you're alive today every morning when you wake up is because there's a purpose for you you're not alive by mistake nobody was born by mistake so don't sit um, around on earth thinking that you're a waste of space there's a reason you're here some of us are not fortunate enough to have the opportunity you guys are having today the reason why I am committing to be the greatest I can be, and for me, um, I'll know I've reached my pinnacle when I'm doing Fashion Police Africa for E! Entertainment. That's my ultimate goal. And until I get there, inch by inch, I'm going to try very hard to be the best of me that I can be. But that is my goal. What is yours? Decide today, this is what I want to do with my dream. No dream is too crazy. Don't let anybody tell you your dream is crazy. If you'll be happy doing it, then do it. I have done all sorts of jobs. There's a job I used to have where I was required to go to work at 9 o'clock and leave at 5 o'clock. Let me tell you, there's nothing worse than when you're doing a job just for the money, because you'll never be happy. You don't want somebody to wake you up on a day when you were supposed to be on leave and tell you to go to work, and you want to cry, because you're not happy doing this. You're doing this for the paycheck. That cannot be you. You're the chosen ones. You're the new generation. You're the people who inch by inch will make themselves great. Don't wait for years to go by and then a leader comes and tells you, let's make Kenya great again. No, be the generation that makes Kenya so great. The next leader who comes along is telling you, I want to keep the greatness going, so I really need your vote. You are the greatest that there is. You didn't come here today by mistake. You came here today to absorb what you're learning so that you can take it and make something of yourself. There's not enough jobs for all of you, I'll tell you that for free. So somebody has to be their own boss. You have to be your own boss. Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm gonna be my own boss. And I'm gonna start making it happen today. Stop procrastinating, you know? You need to stop doing that. Like the coach said, all he, all he can do is motivate the players. But you see, he can't make the players play. That's for you to do. We'll come on stage and we're gonna tell you, listen, Sit down, write down your goals, write um, small steps. Um, I want to do TV, first of all, I need to learn to be confident. This is the biggest challenge of my professional career. I've never stood in front of a crowd so big. I was backstage having a panic attack. I didn't even think I'd stand here and talk. I was convinced I'd get here, probably stammer and leave. But somehow I got here and I've done it, and ah, you guys, you'll never hear the end of this on Snapchat. So. Every single time you set a goal for yourself, I could have told Blaze, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I don't speak in front of crowds this big, and it's not going to be a challenge I'm willing to take up. And, I, and they'd be like, okay, fine, we'll give it to somebody else. And that's how life is. If you don't commit to your goal, somebody else will commit to theirs, and they'll make it happen. Do you know how bad it is when you have an idea, and you see, you're the only one who knows your ideas. I don't know what's in your head. I don't know what's in your head. It's your idea. Only you can make it happen. It's up to you to be your own boss. You only have this one life to live. Drake didn't lie when he said you only live once. But how do you want to live? Do you want to be that person waking up every morning crying because you have to go do a job you don't want to do? Two people said no. I'll ask again. Do you want to be that person waking up every morning to do something that you don't want to do? And the only person who can make you do what you want to do and be happy at it is you. And while you're at it, 
there's a guy called Shark the Youngin, very wise young man, very wise young man, sorry, a T.I.'s young man. And he always says, teamwork makes the dream work. There's a lady who came up to me in the pod and she said, she is good at producing, but she doesn't know how to go about it. There's always someone in your journalism class who wants to be the presenter. There's somebody in your journalism class who wants to shoot. And these days you can use your phone. This, this thing that you waste all your time on, when you're busy giving Safaricom bundles money, this, this can make you your own boss. It's how you use it. We all have the same 24 hours on this planet. We do. And as a team, together, you must be willing to make a dream work. Sit down as a group and say, what do we want to do? This requires teamwork. What are you good at? What can you contribute? And be there 1,000% for your team members. Because for the dream to work, you have to work together. There can't be one person who's over there thinking of how they're going to do it on their own. I mean, your dream could be successful on its own, but anything done together, when heads come together, only great things come out of it. But you have to be your own motivation. Stay positive. You know your tongue can be the reason you fail, and your tongue can be the reason you succeed. Breathe nothing but positive thoughts into your mind. Conceive what you want to do in your mind, then make it happen in real life. You don't want to, I'm doing it at 26. You could do it at 16. You don't have to say, uh, since it took an itenderu, it took me six years to get here. That's a lot of inches before I got to where I am today. So don't think that becoming your own boss, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and you have a chopper. It doesn't work that way. Um, look how long it took for things like the internet to become an actual thing. When I was 18 years old, if you told someone, I have 10,000 followers on Instagram, you should give me a job because I think I'm quite influential, there's nobody who's going to give you a job. But look where we are with social media now. What would life be without it? It's where we market everything. I started a baking business and I s sold it um, solely on Instagram. Word of mouth and Instagram, that's all. There's nothing like because I'm an Itandero, somebody ordered a cake, no. We either like the cake or we don't, and if we did, we ordered again. That's how it works. So use the things you have to your advantage. You don't have to wait to be had at a radio station. Start doing podcasts. You don't have to wait to um, have somebody buy your show. Start a YouTube show. You have all these things here. You can shoot amazing quality with your phone alone. And then just learn how to edit things. Use Google. That is the world's best Anything. I don't think there's anything I don't Google. I, um, I use my phone to read a lot because I always tell young people, that is you guys, it's important to have your English in check. Don't take English for granted. You cannot be leaving school uh, after Form 4 and you can't construct a sentence. What did you do for all those years? You need to communicate. How are you going to tell your friends what your plan is if you can't even construct a sentence? You're halfway through Nilikwa and then you see, you're, say, you're speaking like four different languages for one sentence. So if you're going to commit to making something of yourself, you have to understand, ultimately, you have to have a big goal, which is you want to be part of a global market. To be part of a global market, you commit to learning everything that you need to learn about that profession. If it means you're going to Google everything, I learned how to bake on YouTube. What's your excuse for not knowing how to do something? You know you can find anything you want on YouTube, am I right? You can use your social media to build your brand completely. Let somebody go to your Instagram and know what you're about. So stop twerking and start working. Let your Instagram be a constructive place for you to learn things. I, only, I follow a lot of pages that ha, um, of different bakers because I want to know how to make really cool cakes. I follow, a, there's this lady, she's called Bonang Mateba. How many of you know Bonang Mateba? Really, guys? Okay, so she's my role model as far as TV goes. She's a South African presenter, and she presents for E, because E finally came to Africa. And I look up to her, and I see what she does, and I try to emulate her because she does a great job, and she's a positive influence. When you commit to do something, like what I do, which is being the public sphere, you commit to being a good role model. I am doing this because I want you to know it's possible. I didn't have this. I used to think, to, uh, from all the stories, the 90s, to be in the media, you either had to do something very immoral or you had to know someone. I grew up in Eldoret. Is there anybody here from Eldoret? Yay! Hey, hometowners, how you doing? So, um, I grew up in Eldoret. When I moved to Nairobi, I was 18 years old because of the post-election violence, and I didn't know anyone but my relatives. I didn't know anyone at Nation. I didn't know anyone at Capital FM. But somehow, 
Somehow, because the dream was alive in my head, I went for audition after audition, which I used to discover on Facebook. And also, I signed up at a modeling agency. That also helped. And somehow, even after being rejected over 20 times, I never gave up, because you have to stay committed to your dream. If you fall today, pick yourself up. Surround yourself with people who are going to pick you up. When you leave here today, don't just leave with bundles, airtime, and merchandise. Leave having learned something. Blaze isn't doing this for you so that you have something fun to do on a Friday afternoon. Blaze is doing this for you because they believe in your dreams. So how about you believe in your dream? Don't be a hater. When your friend says they believe in something, tell them you can do it. Turn to your neighbor and say you can do it. You can do it. And who can be their own boss? You can. Who can make that happen? You can. You are the chosen ones. You're the generation living at the luckiest time ever. Opportunities are endless. So make use of them. For as long as you're alive, you have a purpose. So don't laze, you blaze. Am I clear? Do not laze, you blaze. And be great. The next time I hear about you guys, I better hear you picked up a lot from this and you made something of yourselves. Stop saying there are not enough jobs out there. You can make a job and provide jobs for your friends. Okay, guys? All right, so I hope you've picked up something. And it didn't sound like a mom lecturing y'all. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to now. Now. All right, one more thing. One more thing. We always have to do it for the snap. OK. All right? So I'm going to say Blaze and you say be your own boss. But just so that Musini Haibishekwa Snapchat will do a dry run <laughs> sour. All right, Blaze. Hi, hey guys. My, my talk was meant to motivate you, not make you. I know you, there's a lot to think about and a lot to process, but you need to have psych. Just clap for no apparent reason so you get psych. Come on, clap. No apparent reason, just clap. <laughs> All right, now, Blaze. Now let's do that for the snap. All right. If you're not in thicker, you're missing out because Blaze. Blaze. That's how Safaricom rolls. Thank you, guys. My name is Anita Nderu. All I do is